Okay, it's 7 p.m. right now, which means we are 26 hours out from the start. So, time for the pre race dinner. Let's check what we got. We've got rice with a tomato sauce and vegetables. So, definitely some carb loading. Um, well, I'm gonna go enjoy my dinner and see you in the morning. Good morning, it's race day. For breakfast we got two apples, two bananas, some oatmeal and almond milk. Okay, breakfast is done. We are 12 hours out now from the start. But it's a Friday so I gotta go to work first. Okay, back from work. We are now 3 hours and 50 minutes uh, from the start, so time for the last meal. Let's see what we got. We got a vegan pancake with some syrup on top. This pancake it consists of um, banana, flour and almond milk. Let's see what I got packed for the race. So of course there will be 8 stations along the way, but I don't have any crew or anyone who's waiting there for me, so I need to carry pretty much everything I could possibly need uh, with me right from the start, except for the things that I can get at the 8 stations of course. So let's check. First of all, my emergency blanket, which I got for free once and I can't seem to fold it back into the original size. Some spare clothes. Um, they're packed in a plastic bag because the weather report is not looking too good at the moment. Of course my hat and my headlamp. Um, for fluids I have two half liter bottles that I can refill at each aid station. One is um, sports drink with magnesium and the other one is coke with water. And I will carry also an empty flask with me in case I need more between the aid stations. For nutrition I got peanuts. Salty sticks, both high in carbs, both salty, which is good. And I got some liquid, high in sugar. I got a Snickers, which I will eat in the car on my way to the starting line. And I got some glucose, which always comes in handy when things get tough. Uh, for refilling my water bottles at the aid stations, I got some sports drink powder and some magnesium. And finally, of course, <laughs> the most important piece of equipment, my backpack where I'm gonna put everything. And here on these straps underneath, I got my raincoat because, again, weather report is not looking too good. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, I also got a little fanny pack just uh, to carry the camera. All right, leaving from home. It's time to go. It's uh, starting to feel real. Let's see.
in, so a quarter is done. I took a pretty good fall about 5k back on a downhill. I stumbled over a tree root, landed on my hip and then on my elbow. It was quite painful. But luckily I got Bart to cheer me up. Yay! <laughs> running for a bit over four hours. Uh, we hope to reach the third checkpoint soon. Going through a bit of a rough patch here. The lack of sleep is definitely kicking in because it's like around 1 a.m. now. And it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. Is it tough? Yeah, very tough. we have ever run officially. Congratulations. Never mind that we're totally dead and still have 30k to go. Just checking in from aid station six. Chocolate waffles. Jackpot Bart? Jackpot. It's like we are born again.
up. Look at Bart, still running like a well oiled machine after 90k. I think, I think his bones are made of olive oil. I think sleep deprivation makes me a funny person actually. Just left the last checkpoint at 93k. So my watch died on me. I don't know for how long we've been running, but it must be like something 13 hours and something. No, I don't know. I cannot do mass, I'm too tired. I'll check at the finish. <laughs> so it's the day after the race and uh, I'm proud to say it's the first day that I'm an official 100k finisher Yay! and uh, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about um, how it went and uh, show you the splits so I'll pull them up on the screen right now so you can see we started off um, actually a little bit fast first 9 kilometers in 1 hour and uh, the first 20 kilometers in 2 hours 24 so that was not that fast anymore and then a little bit after 20 kilometers I took a fall and from then on uh, it was mentally a little bit tough even though the fall was like not too hard or didn't leave any permanent damage or any pain that I had afterwards but it was mentally tough and when I arrived at the aid station at 37 kilometers I was thinking about quitting but um, I said to myself okay I will try to make it until the next aid station and if then I still really cannot uh, turn things around I will seriously consider quitting so I arrived at the aid station at 48 kilometers around 3 in the morning and I just lay down on my back and put my feet up against the wall and just relaxed for like 15 minutes um, and I put on dry socks and I continued but yeah at a moderate pace um, as you can see the next 11 kilometers um, 1 hour 20 so that's yeah quite a moderate pace and from then on yeah it was the middle of the night and dark um, so we didn't really get any faster anymore but uh, we covered the distance so it's um, okay and yeah for example after 85 kilometers until the next aid station which was just eight kilometers further five miles uh, we needed one hour ten minutes to cover that distance that's how um, how bad things were at that point and um, we had been running all through the night we were wet and soaked but uh, yeah we made it and then for the last seven kilometers uh, one hour and uh, we finished at 10 28 in the morning so in total it took us um, 13 hours and 28 minutes so that was our f finishing time 13 hours and uh, 28 minutes um, and it was worse um, to go through all the rough spots and continue and continue because that feeling when you finish it's indescribable and um, it's so fulfilling to go through all the um, bad spots to be able to finish the race and uh, bring it home if you've watched the video this far first of all thank you um, what I would like to know is do you have a motto do you have like an inner mantra that you say when things get tough during long runs? If so, let me know in the comments. I would really like to um, know what's your inner mantra.